I mean, I, I mean that. I think that's one of the reasons I've always loved you and everything you do is like there's a level of authenticity, um, and it's like, like earlier we were talking about style and stuff, and I'm like, I love your style because it's it's just you're effortlessly doing it whatever you like, you know, <laughs> or unless there's a lot of effort. I don't know. <laughs> I mean, it took a while to stay in there and be like, I don't know if this is okay. But, but I, it, yeah, I tried to wear that black coat because I know you like black stuff. I love that. I wish I could be as brave as you, I think. Really? I did think that's the reddest lipstick I've ever seen in my life. But it's kind of a nice Christmas color, too. Wait, what do you mean brave? I think it's just brave to, to oh, you like... Mean to put this on? <laughs> to be like... Uh, like, cause I remember when I was in junior high school, my friend Matt Chenevere, he was like, uh -huh. a, he was a neat guy, and his brother played in a band. And I don't okay. want to say the band was bad, okay. but the band it was, was probably had a unique sound. Okay, <laughs> okay, so, <laughs> and their name was like, uh, you know, like uh, shuddering, like it was something crazy, you know, <laughs> like desperate victim or something, you know, like definitely. Like the, uh. the name of the band was one guy was playing the drums, but he was he was just fucking shaking with anger so much, and he had the sticks in his hand, and he was just yeah. keeping some type of a vague wooden to metal falsetto, <laughs> and it was just that's who they were, you know. But so I would go sometimes and try to be like, and I would listen to like Blind Melon and like fucking <laughs> Blind Melon is like the one the. Do -do 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 -do. Oh. But they somehow rolled. I guess they weren't goth, but they were kind of hippie. No. I don't know if we had goth. Maybe we had one dude. Oh yeah, goth was different. Sorry, these were just kind of like, like, I was like the opposite. <laughs> yeah, these were just kind of like like violent hippies. Okay, all right. So that's kind of the group I was in for a little while. Was this violent hippie uh -huh. group? And then, um, but yeah, the goth kids would wear like those shoes that were mm -hmm. like. And the, then, the yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. but they had to wait till everybody left to walk back because it was like such an uncomfortable walk sometimes. She's so like, why are those goth kids still hanging out by the tree over there? Like, They're always in the trees. It's weird. There's they really even a, were. a website, I think it was called Goths and Trees. <laughs> and for some, there's like a fascination with like goth people that are like in trees. I didn't, I've never felt the feeling calling but i don't know there's wow. a lot of them yeah that's it's, cool it's a thing so go on there it is goss and trees yeah, look, right there look let's look at, look at a few of them all hang out I mean, Ooh. That guy's not that goth. yeah that guy definitely oh one. that guy yeah, is look. goth dude uh -huh. yeah wow. they, they all hang out in trees i don't understand Ooh, there's something very edgar Allan poe about it <laughs> do you know because they're because of a raven or? i think so now this lady seems like <laughs> It's a thing. I've never done it. Let's see more. This is fascinating. Wow. I know. That's now, what that I'm saying. That guy is goth. Yeah. Look, they're inside trees. It's weird. I wonder if there's something about it that feels good to them. <laughs> to our species. <laughs> yeah, I could see it. Now this is really interesting. <laughs> she brought props. Oh yeah, she's a Sith. Uh huh. Or scythe? Or is it scythe? I she's a scythe. Oh wow! Yeah, these are uh, goss on on uh. In trees, is it a tree house or? Yeah, it looks like a tree house or a zip line. <laughs> goss on zip line would be good too. <laughs> but I love this. This is really fascinating. Yeah. Um, I used to love when there was some dope Tumblr pages out there. That I was know. fun, wasn't it? Yeah, but wait, you were gonna get to the the point where so you had the friends that were in the band and. Yeah, but the, yeah, and I thought I was goth, but I wasn't. I guess yeah, we would just like listen to like Skinny Puppy or uh -huh. different bands yeah. like you know. Uh, epilepsy lizard or some mm -hmm. kind of shit like that and then um yeah that was it that was about as got as kind of as goth as i get but i was always marveled at the yeah. people that could go full yeah. dark wing uh -huh. duck you know like people I like that, that dark wing duck yeah i think the people that like could be like whoa yeah. like this person like how did they get to school did they flew here themselves like that type of <laughs> i think there was something like interesting about it yeah. Yeah, and there was always like there's such an allure I think about that sort of woman or yeah, yeah I would probably say woman more because yeah. I think it's like a there's something interesting about a goth person. What is it? What is it about goth people? Why is it? Like a like the loose screws probably or, or what is it? Like why do they what is it like the 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 calling towards like is there like a yeah. code of conduct or something? I mean, there's got to be um some childhood stuff, right? I mean, I know for me, I, I, like I said, I never felt a sense of belonging even within my own family unit. Um, 
So I remember discovering music and then not necessarily seeing myself, but um, like there was a reflection of emotions happening. Like when I, I like, I love the cure and Susie and the Banshees, the passion. And I think like lyrically and just like this, um, the soul to it, you know, I feel like a lot of people are sensitive in that sense, but, and then they just like take it to the, you know, to the outward expression of that. Mm -hmm. But I don't know. I, I just, I just like it. I, you know, I've, Maybe been. that's it. Maybe like a, a way to be seen too, because I guess it was an outlier. Like I grew up in a small town, so but but it's kind of not because like right because you have your own group then. Like is that it, what you mean? Well, I mean I don't know. I I'm not judging. I'm just looking at it. I'm like it's just like interesting. it's funny. Like even this morning when I was getting ready, I was like, you know, I feel like I tend to dress very. Co I cover all the time. Like I don't. I very rarely show my tattoos at all. Mm -hmm. and I was like, you know, I'm going to change it up. I'm gonna go see Theo today and I'll just wear short sleeved, you know? But I feel like I would always get tattooed for myself. Like I just like to look at images or I like what it looks like with the appearance of it. Um, I, in the middle of nowhere in Indiana, like I dress like this every day. Like, <laughs> <laughs> and it's like, but it's not for anybody else other than, <laughs> why are you laughing? <laughs> I could just see how many men yeah. got, have like pulled up back at home and like, honey, I seen a damn apparition <laughs> down there. That damn, this neighborhood's going to shit. <laughs> so. <laughs> really? <laughs> I think there's something interesting about, or no, there's some, uh, look, I think a lot of men, I remember in our town, a lot of men would go and cry over by the Winn-Dixie in their truck, I remember. Uh -huh. Why? I don't know why, but we would go ride our bike over there uh -huh. sometimes. It was like a sad place, like I think men would just go sit over there and be sad sometimes. Yeah. I remember seeing that. But um, yeah, I think there was something very alluring about a goth woman yeah. to me it seemed like a siren you know like in that book yeah for odysseus yeah you know what i'm talking about yeah yeah it seemed that's what it seemed like there was like something like what's going on yeah this is different it's different you know i think it's well it's brave to be different mm. i think so that may be like well yeah was there an element of like this feels brave to me like i'm just interested mm -hmm. how somebody kind of leans into that or how they you know not that they're joining a group, but it's like, what, how does that kind of, yeah, why does, why does one goth, you know? Yeah, I, I mean, I don't know. I just like what I like, I think, and I just do more of that or do a lot of that, I guess. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's interesting. I've never gotten a, I, you know, yeah. I think there's maybe I might have dated a goth woman at some point. I don't remember, but I probably, I think I could have. I think I did. She didn't write you a poem? Huh? I'm sure she did. <laughs> I'm sure. Yeah, we do we get uh we do a lot of family portraits together and I like I love our little family because we just we look like a little family, you know? Mm -hmm. Like my son he is not scared about like what I think I'm not scared, but like spooky to him is fun because it's what he's around. You know what I mean? Yeah. So his normal is a lot different than like normal kids. And we get a lot of criticism about that too. Cause, um, you know, he, cause he wears black or he'll like, I'm like, that's what he likes. Like at this point he sees his dad or his mom, you know, it's like, it's, it's normal to him. So, yeah. so we did like a photo shoot for this. Uh, it was actually for like a, an interview, like for a magazine thing. And they wanted to shoot us in front of our house. And so I was like, Oh, let's, there's like this little fountain. And I had like my little, like Tim Burton, like parasol thing. And, um, and people just hated it. I think they just hated seeing, like it bothers them that we, we don't look normal. I don't wow. understand. It's really weird. You should get your son a vulture or something for Christmas. I feel like. <laughs> I bet. Anyway, sorry. Yeah, sorry. Uh, you bet sorry what? for making so many jokes. About I love it. I love it. Your aesthetic and stuff. Yeah. But it's good. cool. I never. Some I of them wish, are very accurate, though. Well, I wish I gotten to talk to more people that are like our goth people. I think I think I don't ever do. I don't know if I don't go to enough goth places. I think I've I always kind of had an affinity for goth women, maybe, uh -huh. I think. Oh, my brother likes goth women, too, okay. I think. Or he likes creative ladies, yeah, kind of. like artsy. Yeah. And yeah, I think where I was growing up, being artsy was weird, you know? Yeah, yeah. I think it was like people thought you was gay or something, you know, or you was damn yeah. gay or whatever. If you, you know, did. Like, I remember if you got good grades, you know, people thought you were homosexual, you really? know? Really? Oh, yeah, dude. And so it was like... Yeah, so I think being brave enough, probably. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Where, and when I was little to have uh, somebody 
be like unique. Yeah. Like you seem, uh, like you are. I think it that would have been so. Maybe that's why I think it's really fascinating. I may. I think it's maybe the trauma. Like that's like like because I think about why does it? Why do I think cigarettes are sexy? Right. Like because there's this like sense of like you don't care that you're damaging yourself. Oh and yeah. There's like a not a danger to it, but just like it's self-destructive a little bit. And I think with maybe it's just like there, I don't know, like some, some of my favorite bands and or the music I listen to, it's like, there's some stuff that I'm like, Oh, they're, they're good. But you could tell they just like, they don't have any trauma. Like, right. and so it's like, I just don't listen to happy. Music. I don't like happy. I don't, I'm not attracted to it. You know what I mean? Yeah. Um. So yeah, maybe that's what it's, what it takes. I know I've had trauma. I mean, I've, yeah. I've seen some crazy things. Do a lot of people mistake you and Dave Navarro ever or not? <laughs> no. <laughs> but you know what I do hate is like, because um, I really want to have bangs. And every time I've ever cut bangs, people call me, say that I look like Cher. And mm. I don't think I look anything like Cher. Yeah. I think it's because we have a deep voice, right? Oh, yeah. That know. could be it. I saw Cher at a game. She was running around with a young brother at a, at, a, at, a, at the Super Bowl last year. Yeah? Yeah, she's dating like a 17-year-old, I think, or 18, sorry. Okay. Yeah. But, um, yeah. Um, yeah, but I don't look like Dave Navarro. Take that back. Sorry, That's you don't so look mean. anything like Dave Navarro. <laughs> I was just trying to think if like somebody were like really ridiculous that they would run up and say that.